Former Vice President Joe Biden stepped back onto the political scene, endorsing former Obama Labor Secretary Tom Perez for DNC chair. Biden saying, quote, we have a lot of good people vying for this important job, but I do think for this moment and in this time, Tom Perez is our best bet to help bring the party back. The former vice president who swore in the Obama appointee four years ago also called him a man of integrity and vision, adding, quote, Tom knows how to talk to people, not down to them. He knows how to explain why our party's core beliefs matter to the immigrant family in Arizona and the coal miner in West Virginia. But Senator Bernie Sanders responded, reaffirming his support for Congressman Keith Ellison, as asking, quote, do we stay with a failed status quo approach or do we go forward with a fundamental restructuring of the Democratic Party? And wow, that also could pertain to our next guest and how we move forward. Joining us now, President of Planned Parenthood Federation of America, Cecile Richards. Very good to have you on. Good to see you. Been trying Nika. to get you on this show for a few weeks because well, we need to talk about some issues. But first, can we just say the lady on the House of Cards stole both of our haircuts? Thank you. What is, is that? that? Do you I, get I that all know. the time? All the time. I Always get it all stop. the time. I'm just I think we say. were there first. Exactly. <laughs> Perhaps for a long time. Um, let's get serious, though. Um, how, how's the outlook for Planned Parenthood and and as it pertains to politics, mm -hmm. women, women's health, and then how you actually pair down? The, the sub issues of women's health and how people right. characterize it in the controversy. Are you optimistic or a little bit nervous right now, to say the least? Well, I'm nervous about Congress, but I'm very optimistic about Planned Parenthood. I mean, we've never been more popular. We just hit 10 million supporters. And the reason we're popular is because one in five women in the country come to us for health care. Uh, what we're concerned about is when Paul Ryan said the second day of the Congress that he was going to move to try to block women from coming to Planned Parenthood. Uh, what we have seen is an outpouring of support and concern because for so many women, we're their only health care provider. And but, that's really at risk. But there are other health care providers for women. And the, the question is funding and the choices to, to who to give the funding to. Right. And obviously, the issue of abortion steps into that. Um, are you looking at the reality of the situation? Sure, absolutely. No, and I'd love to. I'm glad you asked this or, or brought this up because here's what's really important Planned Parenthood doesn't get a check from the federal government. We work just like every other hospital or health care provider. We get reimbursed for the services that we provide, which are all preventative. This is birth control, cancer screenings. As Paul Ryan knows, uh, the, uh, the uh, federal government does not pay for abortion funding and has it for years and years and years. What he's talking about doing is ending the ability of women to come to us for the actual preventive care and the work we do to prevent unintended pregnancy in the first place. Do you think your funding will still con continue given the political state in Washington? Because well, I would say it's in jeopardy. Well, it is when you have someone like uh, like Paul Ryan who's putting politics ahead of women's health care. But again, the support for Planned Parenthood, and I think it's important, Mika, this isn't actually a partisan issue, and that's one of the mistakes I think he's making. Uh, women who come to Planned Parenthood come from every walk of life, and in fact, and half of our health centers Oh, go ahead. Many are Republicans. Absolutely. I mean, we've we've I mean, seen candidates who uh, right. have had a reaction from Republican women who were like, okay, wait a minute, I, we don't feel this way. Having said that, if you mm -hmm. speak in broad strokes so early on in a mm -hmm. new administration with a new setup in Washington mm -hmm. and a new party in power, do you perhaps miss the boat on working with them and be able to go in there and cutting a deal? Well, we have great support from some of the Republicans um, in office. And as you say, so many of our patients are Republicans. In fact, there was a poll that someone, uh, I think uh, Politico did, uh, in the elect right at the end of the election that said half of uh, President Trump's own voters supported federal funding for Planned Parenthood. Many of them are our patients. And they believe this election was about draining the swamp and creating jobs, not about taking away their access to health care. I would point out uh, that we have three health centers in Paul Ryan's own district. These are centers that just provide family planning and cancer screenings. And that that's a lot of what we're seeing. Is I think the women are concerned. Uh, they're concerned about losing their access uh, to family planning is, and to plan. But parenthood. is that really? Is that what it's about? Are women right now in jeopardy of losing their health care? Is that a fair assessment of the situation? Or is Planned Parenthood in jeopardy of losing its funding? No, I actually think, look, I think what's and it's interesting because you brought up, and I know uh, uh, the Speaker Ryan has tried to say, well, other folks could provide this care. Mm -hmm. uh, we have heard repeatedly and publicly the community health centers have said, the federally qualified health centers have said, we cannot possibly absorb the millions of patients that Planned Parenthood sees. We are 
you're the expert in birth control. And one thing, Mika, that's I think important because there's it's not only bad news. We are actually at a record low for teenage pregnancy in the United States of America. We are at a 30 year low for unintended pregnancy. It's because we're doing a better job of getting women access to family planning. Uh, we now have 55 million women under the Affordable Care Act getting no cost birth control. Those are the kinds of things that matter to women's lives regardless of their political party. And that's what we're trying to emphasize to Speaker Ryan and to the members of the United States Senate who will ultimately vote on this. Let's talk about the march. I talked to you the day after yeah. the Women's March, which right. really turned out about to be a lot bigger than I think many expected. Right. Uh, a show of force that was really organic. <laughs> um, future leaders in the Democratic Party, future right. leaders for women, who are they and who are you looking to uh, to sort of pave the way for Planned Parenthood and organizations like it mm -hmm. in the future given the current situation? Who are they? Well, I think it's been really interesting to see the power of the women in the Senate. We have obviously newly elected women there who are very strong and I think exciting and interesting and different. So that's I, when I look at um, leadership. Uh, but I would say one of the things about the march um, is it actually was marches? You know, this wasn't just obviously there was a huge turnout right. in Washington and New York, global. but it was Boise, Idaho. We had 10,000 people in Salt Lake City, even my home state of Texas, the biggest march ever, ever in the history of the state. And so I think it was that those marches were about something much bigger, not just who's in Congress um, and who's in elective office, but about women really making their voice heard. And one other thing, Mika, that to me was fascinating is how many men were there. You know, I mean, I saw grandfathers marching in support of their granddaughters and uh, husbands uh, marching for women's rights. So to me, it is about it is about women's rights, but it is much bigger than simply women uh, standing up. What do you make of this new administration, this new president, and would you meet with him? or Ivanka, who will be closely involved in women's issues? Well, we definitely are hoping that they will um, look at the important decisions that have to be made about women's health care, including Planned Parenthood. I, I know that the president himself during the campaign said favorable things about the millions of women who are helped by Planned Parenthood. I think the important thing here, and again, I hope the administration maybe is looking at this, is um, for women, this is basic health care. Uh, this is not a political statement. And if we really want to do something to build on the progress of reducing unintended pregnancy, uh, reducing um, even the abortion rate in the United States, reducing teen pregnancy, we should actually double down on family planning, including access to Planned Parenthood. But you realize you have to cut a deal of some sort with this new administration in some way. Would you come to the uh, we're, we're always at the table. I mean, we talk to everybody. I mean, because Planned Parenthood, we're nonpartisan. We believe the most important thing is, is that women in this country get access to the health care that they need. Cecile Richards, thank you so much. Good to have Good you on to the see show. You, Come Mika. back. Still ahead, developing news from Washington. This is a live picture we'll have for you right now of the International Ballroom at the Washington Hilton, where President Trump is expected to address the National Prayer Breakfast at any moment now. We're going to go there live when that happens. Plus, the president's foreign policy dominating the headlines this morning from the White House putting Iran on notice to the report that the president badgered the prime minister of Australia in a phone call over the weekend. A lot to discuss with the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, Bob Corker, when he joins us on Morning Joe. We'll be right back. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.